everybody, my name is Michaela. welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be altering some clothing because I have a big box of clothes that there's just things that I want to change or um, improve the fit of and I'm going to get tackling on some of it today. This top I actually just made, which is what's inspiring me to get to my um, altering pile, but I just made this for my shop. Huckleberry Bonnets, it hasn't gone live yet, but it's the first one of many, and I really like it. It's, it's going really well so far. Um, but let me just show you this big sack of clothing. Before we do that, if you like this kind of video, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. I make new videos on minimalism, motherhood, sustainable living, and behind the brand for my different handmade shops here on this channel as often as I can. I want to say Sunday and Wednesday, but it's not always like that. I'm trying to do better. But yeah, let's just get into it. So this is the pile of stuff that I have to alter. Some of it is like fabric for the shop. As you can see, I've got all kinds of fabric lined up back there. But all of this here are things that I want to go through. And I think I'm going to start with this one today. So I'll show you that. So this is one of the pieces that I will be doing today. It's like an extra, extra large, um, like coat dress thing, but it's like the pattern of my dreams and I love it so much, but the slit is like too far down here for comfort and the length of this is, let me back you up and see if that works any better. So there we go, kind of. The length of this is just a little bit too short, right? Yeah, you can kind of tell. So basically what I want to do is take this into two separate pieces um, and then make like this a long sleeve crop with like a tie maybe or something and then make this a skirt and bump it down a little bit so I get length on the bottom but I, um, I don't know. Basically, I'm just going to try and make this a two-piece outfit, which I've never had or done before. This is all, like, super new. But let's see what happens with this because I'm not really liking the, the trench coat slitness. Like, I'll probably... I'm thinking I'm going to make this a little bit higher um, and then try to just cut right here to keep the band for the skirt and go down from there. But we'll see. I'm really scared. Looks like it's already gotten like a piece that's coming apart. Somebody safety pinned it and I never even noticed. But that's interesting. That's good. So it's already coming apart. Mama. Yeah. Um, I have several baby you do? Yeah. Cool. I'm actually very nervous to do this. <laughs> but I haven't been wearing it like this, so we might as well just try it, right? So first, I'm going to cut this on there and separate the pieces, hopefully. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is nerve wracking. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer there. Oh wow, okay. So, I think I'm going to stitch rip it instead. Let me get that. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do, this is my stitch ripper. Um, it's just like, I, I don't know, there you go. Ah, stitch ripper and... I am going to go along this seam. I want to leave the top here so that it can be the waistband for the skirt. So I just want to separate right here. And I'm going to do that by pulling this apart. Okay, so I refocused because my camera's old as crap. <laughs> and I'm just going to pull apart these two layers here and stick the stitch ripper in through there and then start separating the top from the bottom. This is going to be a long, a long process, so 
I'm probably going to just speed this up for you guys after you get the idea. But you only want to grab the brown, like the thread. I'm really being careful not to grab the material because that's a good way to put a hole in it. And while I am taking it apart, I don't want any weird holes that I have to deal with. So we're going to try and do this as best we can. And just try and get the top piece separated. So as you'll see, it kind of starts to come apart. And it's, I'm going to have to take it apart more than once because there is stitching on the opposite side too. This top piece is actually gathered as well, so I'm trying to save the bunching, like the gathered um, kind of like ruffle look as well as I can see there it comes now. Um, so this stitch here is actually the one that's holding the gathers together so I don't want to rip that one. I only want to get this top layer of stitches that connects the skirt to the bodice. Now you'll notice I'm talking like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> But it's just factual information and I actually don't, like I've never done this before, so I'm just doing my best. Let's see what happens. So we're getting somewhere now. I think I've been able to pull both sets of stitches front and back so far, which is really good. is the skirt and as you can see it is very very big um, so what I want to do is put elastic at the back and cinch it so it's gonna be pretty pretty gathered <laughs> I really don't know what I'm doing to be honest but yeah this is what I think I'm gonna do is try and pin and put elastic through the back casing. So that's what I'm going to try. It's not pulling the fire. That was pulling the fire. So I'm just putting pins where I marked with my fingers where I want the waistband to go. And then now I will put it back on. And try not to poke myself and see okay I'm gonna see how much elastic I need because the casing will start there but I'm gonna need an elastic piece it's like this big so, where's that elastic you're playing with, Ellie? Okay, so I have some elastic that might be the right size. I'm just going to put it right there. Okay, 
that is what I need that piece right there. So I'm gonna take this off and cut the elastic. Ah! I think I lost my pin. No, I didn't. I'm good. Okay. Do that. I'm gonna cut this. So there is the piece that I'm gonna use. This is not useful. So now I'm gonna take you over to the sewing machine where I'm gonna put this inside the casing. So, kind of do that so you can see. And this is shockingly small. But here's what I'm going to do. All of this needs to get shrunk down to this size. So, what I'm going to do is sew the casing from. here to here on the top and then I'm going to use a safety pin to lace the elastic through the opening like so there we go let me just make sure this is like a centered sort of Thing. Move it in a little bit. Okay. There we go. That'll be alright. So, now what I'm going to do is turn this on and I need to switch my thread. We can do some brown thread. I'm using Guterman. I don't know. It's cotton made in Greece. I've never used it before, but I've been really happy with it because I was using polyester before this and it just kept breaking. And it was very frustrating, but I'm just going to fill this empty bobbin with my new thread color. Okay, so I finished it, or what I think I've finished, so I'm just gonna try it on. 
and see if it fits. Hopefully I did it right, I don't know. We shall see. Oh boy! I think I did it! It fits! Mom? Yeah? I think so. Yeah, come see. Okay, I did it. It fits. It feels good. You can see the elastic in the back has cinched up the waist just the way I needed it. I'm so happy with this. Oh my, okay. So, yeah. next thing. Hmm? Um, my salad because I was so hungry. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is the top of this dress. So hopefully that will go as well as the bottom half.